You're listening to Why You Suck in Bed on the Riotcast Network, riotcast.com. How do you <laughs> fucking stick your ass up into someone's asshole? Your foot. Your foot. Your your foot. foot. Did I see your ass? Your ass. Can you stick your ass? Can you stick an ass into an asshole? <laughs> ass to has. I don't hold that. I don't. You certainly can't kill somebody if you do it. <laughs> going on this is why you suck in bed <laughs> you stick your foot up some russian guy's ass <laughs> i lost my foot in the russian man's anus uh, jeff your voice is so sexy <laughs> there are times when the i just want to fix you part of me kicks in and i want to suck on your cock thank you i was reading an email um <laughs> so <laughs> Do you play that on a loop in your well, in your I cave? Off, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in your cave. <laughs> My windowless cave. <laughs> okay, so we're back, and I have some TP here, and uh, he has some insensitive nipples as well. <laughs> oh, <we've had> <laughs> an owl and an upcurved penis. <laughs> it barks, insults at all of me, uh, me, all of me, all of you. All that of was a good movie with Steve Martin, yes, and Lily Tomlin. <laughs> He's on my speed dial. With, with <laughs> Paul Rudd. Paul Rudd and Ryan Gosling. <laughs> when I own a rider, I'm trying to get through to her because one of your crush. I like to get in touch with that guy that was in uh, Pump Up the Volume, Christian Slater. Whatever really? happened to him? He's still around. You think he became He really? hit a wall really bad. His head got really fat. He yeah. didn't even do like the CBS jump. Like usually right before you, you just drop off the face of the earth, you do a show on CBS. I oh, like TV acting? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. After yeah. your movie career I is think over. He did a TBS jump. Oh. What? I think he did That's unheard jump. of. Yes. He was like the man he back was in the, the day. Man. Yeah, you remember that? <laughs> yeah. He was a heart throb when we were coming up. Thro- like he emphasis on throb. True romance. <laughs> oh yeah, true romance oh, is amazing. Man. Now he just the he's turning to heart another Jack movie? Nicholson. Yeah. The monkey heart movie. With Marissa Tomei on oh, that another was one. Fucking awesome. What movie was that? She had a monkey heart. I remember. Or he had a monkey he heart. He had a monkey heart. A baboon heart. Baboon heart. Untamed heart. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm filled with useless Which is awesome. That is not useless knowledge. Do you get it? Untamed heart. The monkey. Yeah. <laughs> it was a it's so it's deep. deep. If only if it was a donkey heart. If it was a donkey heart. A doodle heart. Uh, doodle that's, that's heart. That's Paige, by the way. Yeah, so I, I, I was getting there. I know. Paige is back. Hey. <laughs> What's going on? She's my beautiful drummer girl. I love and, you. Um, I love you. Molly and John are still in the field. They're not picking cotton. Pick, picking cotton. <laughs> <laughs> Although Jeff's insensitive Stop. nipples said Stop you are. The They're on pecan. <laughs> I think you have hateful nipples. <laughs> Straight up Nazi nipples. They're doing some research, and we're here with um, Henry the Ninth, who is always here to bring some some dignity. Hello. <laughs> Short lived dignity. <laughs> <laughs> so we were all just talking about a lot of stuff. So I feel like this. We're not going to have like a focus topic on this show. We're just going to basically talk because the last show we ba- we had so much to talk about. Um, but I do want to get to some listener emails, some Bruno clips, um, and a little bit of Stacey shit. Speaking of my shit, I had an incident today. Oh. Do you too. Yeah. <laughs> Have you guys, and I know the this is... The is not a bad place. I know this is not sexy, but this really, I feel like we need to be more free with our bodies. Have you guys ever taken a shit? I shit rainbows. Where the shit formed a bridge... Across the whole of the toilet. And then wouldn't go down. <laughs> and, wouldn't and then go would down. not go down. Yeah, all up in the Where you have to wait for it to split in the middle. Yes. And then either you abandon ship and run out, 
You just like fuck this because you're in a public, public toilet. Oh, oh, public. Or you reach into your pocket and break it up with a pen or something. <laughs> like there are. Question is, what do you do with the pen? <laughs> right. Very few options. You're available. getting a new pen. <laughs> so I was in work today, and I haven't gone to the bathroom in a few days. And I always go every day, like clockwork. Good and for I was you. like, well, this mm. means this is going to be a problem. So I had to go to the bathroom. I have an eight of steel. And I, <laughs> I got up in the middle of a conversation with someone, and I went to the room. Room. And it was like I lost 25 pounds. Wow. I was like, just took this. And it it formed a bridge. Mm-hmm. And then another bridge. So it was a double. It was like the George Washington. It had like a, a suspension bridge. <laughs> yeah. a shit suspension it, it was bridge. an upper level and a lower. It had a support it beam. It was a George yeah. Washington. It was a toll. <laughs> like it was a whole thing going on. And I'm like, oh, fuck. And I look in. And I'm like, I know this isn't going to go down. How many flushes? Upper level under construction. Use lower level. <laughs> here's the, yeah, here's the, there workmen involved? <laughs> Safety cones. <laughs> this is Crazy. New York City. I mean, this shit happens. High-winded Cost girls, $12 yeah. to come into the bathroom all of a sudden. It's all been raised already? <laughs> it's been raised. For Christ's sake. <laughs> fucking New York. Fucking MTA. <laughs> so I was like, fuck. <laughs> And what's fucked up is I had just had a conversation about this with my coworker about she's like, hey, don't you hate when the bridge happens and then you're stuck in there trying to break the shit up? And, what and do it you smells do? too because <laughs> it's, it's not just, submerging. I so I look in and I'm like, great, I got a double fucking decker, and I flush nothing. I flush nothing. Oh, now the sweat. Man. I'm panicking. I'm at work. And it's leaving marks, too. <laughs> oh, Once totally. it starts shifting around. Yeah. It's, it's like, like a marks. fucking Picasso it's, it's in there. It's spotting, yes. It's spotting the porcelain. <laughs> flushing, flushing. Nothing's happening. So now I start thinking, I'm just going to fucking abandon shit. I'm just going to leave it and fucking leave. And then I'm like, who saw me come in here? Because right. now you have to, who were the you witnesses? You disable the witnesses. At who that point, security cameras? You have to walk out disgusted like right. you walked into oh, it. Do you know what's it God. God. God stole one. Or you have to kill people. <laughs> right. Kill your I have coworkers. To kill? There's so many options. Right. Then the worst fucking thing happens. Someone walks in. Oh, God. Oh, and I look, and it, 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 she she goes into the stall next to me. Of course. I look at the shoes, and I look at the pants. Pants are cuffed black pants with a nice stiletto black heel. Mm-hmm. I think I recognize them. Mm-hmm. I think I know who's next to me. Mm-hmm. Don't want to take the chance. Because I'm like, if it's who I think it is, this person will help me. But if I'm wrong, I will be forever humiliated. Quite a gamble. <laughs> right? It so really I'm like, a gamble. Then I'm like, they're going to know my shoes. So I need to play this real cool. <laughs> right? Damn those clown shoes I want to work every day. <laughs> Give me a wink. So I do a few more flushes. <laughs> The person next to me pees, clean, you know, cleans her hands. She's very quick about it. She's a nice, girly little bathroom experience. Right. Yeah, like, fuck her. And she tip, she frolics out. And I was like, okay, now, now I can, now I can abandon. This person has identified, ID'd my shoes. Mm-hmm. Shit. <laughs> she knows who was in there. So I had to do the toilet paper glove technique. Are we all aware of what that is? Damn, girl. The shittens. Were you, re- you are a true American. Oh, my God. What other option did I have, Henry? I'm not saying you had another option. <laughs> you could have done the toilet paper stack and just... So, I did that. So you punched it? She did. It. She had to do it. I, she had I stacked to do it. the toilet paper hoping that it was heavy enough, but it was a double decker. Right. Then what really panicked me was after like the 25th flush, the water started rising. Oh, um, my God. So I'm facing an overflow problem. Let me, let me tell you what's coming to mind in case this happens to anybody else, but I think you <laughs> maybe should have done. And it's a little strange, but... Take a huge wad of toilet paper, mm-hmm. okay, as much as you can. They're get. like, yeah, <laughs> right, right. You're following me, I know. Okay, because no Everybody's one talks. Sitting Indian style. No one talks about this. <laughs> Obviously, I not. have my notebook out. Can you try? And it's a little dangerous. On hands. It's a bit dangerous, but take as much toilet paper as you can get. Okay, run over to the faucet, soak it. Risky. Very risky. Because you're identifying. Very risky. But you're already identified. You said. Well, my heels. Okay, Damn. but. <laughs> Damn your cute shoes. <laughs> you rinse this. You make a huge spitball, like fist size spitball. Okay. Ooh, I like where you're Run, going. Go back into the toilet mm-hmm. and throw it down <laughs> and smash <laughs> the bridge. Smash. You have to have a good pitch. Into pieces. <laughs> right. What if I miss? I mean, that I know, I know. It can, go, it, can go ter- it can go terribly wrong. You better roll that Splash sleeve up. Back. I know. I know. So I said, it's dangerous. It is dangerous. It's dangerous. Have you have you done this? I have not, but 
It's still good advice. How right. dare you? I mean, it hasn't been field tested, but it's good advice. Just put that in your back pocket. I'm putting a fucking hammer in my back pocket from now on because I, you, I cannot be in this situation. I was so stressed. I would totally be sweating. I ended up making the toilet paper mitten. Punched it. <laughs> but you mitten. Pu- but you punched it. <laughs> so cute. It. I made a little mitten. I would go to the throw technique before so, punching well, it. Well, I was panicked. I understand. So I punched it. <laughs> And then fl- and it all went like it was like a miracle. It was like, <laughs> and it all went down, and it left a little brown ring. And I <laughs> start singing me any big song. <laughs> it said Stacy. I was like, okay, wash my hands. Immediately ran over to my girlfriend's office. I go, did you just go to the bathroom? She's like, yeah. I, took, I peed. I go, did you hear someone like repeatedly flushing next to you? Possibly panicking. She's like, "What are you talking about?" Like, which is proof that no one gives a fuck about anyone. It's no. true. <laughs> and I'm like, I had a bridge. I had a bridge. <laughs> She's like, "Why didn't you ask me to help you?" I'm so like, I that's a good friend. You. That's a good friend. So you know essentially, what? you fisted the toilet <laughs> with shit in it for no reason. She's like, I would have brought you a writing utensil. You could have broken it up. A spatula, a plastic yeah. fork, I mean, something. We're, we're, we're humans. We should use tools <laughs> for, for things. There should be some sort of dispenser at the back of the toilet to break it up. Oh, so that's my sexy story. Oh, it's good. I sexy. applaud you for being able to defecate in public. I can't do oh, it. Oh, I have I to. I can't do it. Whenever I go on tour, mm-hmm. all right, this is a horrible story to share. <laughs> Worse Less than that? <laughs> Double I don't know. That's, that's like super entertaining. <laughs> Punching a shit bridge? <laughs> Last with time a, I went a, on tour, I went 10 days without shitting. <laughs> ten day, My band manager made me sit in a hotel room in Austin, Texas with a box of laxatives and says, we're leaving. You're not leaving this hotel room. <laughs> So you should, he's like, you're gray. He's like, you're turning gray. <laughs> you're smelling I like hazy. <laughs> serious. <laughs> and like you're on tour and you're eating fast food and horrible things and yeah. drinking and oh man. And it's, oh, I can't, awful. I can't poop in public. I can't do it. So you couldn't poop in a hotel room either? No. And I'm in a, and I'm on tour with a bunch of dudes, you know? Mm. So then there's that whole, you know, women don't shit. <laughs> right. I think we've done away with uh, that myth. That now, Howard stigma. Stern claims that he has never seen his wife take a pooping. No, He's never they, smelled no, her pooping. No, women do not shit. Oh, she's good. Well, Bullshit. How much stress is that in her life? <laughs> I mean, I'm exactly. thinking, like, how how do you run around covering up evidence that you shit? Because he's made it clear he doesn't ever want to know about it. She must have her own bathroom. It's Howard Stern. Yeah. She can have her own bathroom. But still. It's on I, its separate property. She has to, like, drive there. Well, yeah. And he said, too, he's like, you know, um, he recently went away. And she had, I think they were lounging at the pool. And she had said that the bathroom smelled like shit so bad by the pool. And they had a discussion. And he was like, well, why do you think that is? And she's like, because none of these women who went away with their boyfriends want to shit in the room so they're all shitting in the pool bathroom <laughs> and that's like a really good point it's the end of romance <laughs> because there's one bathroom and one room in a hotel you blow that shit up everyone's smelling it that's right loosen up babe <laughs> i mean i've always been in relationships where men proudly announced that they just blew up toys. you know it's like oh, oh yeah. it's like the biggest shit you know my carton <laughs> boyfriends those are men though from the cheesy poofs those are men Right. I would uh, suggest, I don't know, maybe this is common knowledge to women, but as you go, if you could flush at the same time and simultaneously remove anything from the equation. I do that all the time at work. It's the courtesy flush. Right. One of my girlfriends swears by those, there's drops that you can drop in the toilet bowl that allegedly eradicate any smell of fecal matter. Oh, wow. I have never heard of I, this. I, <laughs> she swears by them. I <laughs> I don't know where she buys them, what website she gets them from, but she swears by it. And she has like this huge phobia of defecating in public. That's so she has this in her purse all the time. And well, she would that help you? Would, is that tied into your phobia? I don't know. If you knew I, you could get away scot-free and nobody would know about it, you had this magic potion in your pocket. <laughs> well, think about it. You're the only girl. You're on tour. You're in a hotel room, a shitty little hotel room yeah. with like four or five other guys, and you're in a bathroom that's in the same room that you're all staying in, mm. and it's like you don't want to. No, I see what you're saying. You know, I, I, I think I would be back. Even up the too. guys don't. You know, it's like it's yeah, that's rough. That's when you go and use the pool. Toilet. <laughs> that's when you use the pool toilet. Yeah, yeah. Or the pool. Or the pool. I've done that in Caddyshack. What in Caddyshack? Oh, yeah. You poopied in the pool? Fuck yeah. That's like what five year olds do. They poop in their bathtubs. Or Jeff. No, no, I'm not saying there was water in there. You left a little present? 
Yeah. Were you drunk? Probably. No, it's awesome. You were seven. What's the weird? I I'll, the weirdest place you've ever shat. Mm. Oh man. Let's, well, so Jeff, is it the pool the weirdest, or you have worse? I don't know if this is weird, but uh, I used to work for a phone company. Little put into is my that the background. weird part of the story? Yeah, I was in somebody's <laughs> house working, and I had to go. And I'm not supposed to do this, but you put you shit in, in their house and didn't tell them, and the toilet was broken and wouldn't flush. <gasps> oh, god damn! So I, I, your phone's all fixed. It's working. Got the fuck out of there with uh, a sh- with a shit floating in the toilet. <laughs> oh yeah, amazing. I like that. I have two stories that relate to that. Mm-hmm. My ex boyfriend used to install heating and air conditioning systems, and he had a lot of celebrity clients. And one day. We had to go visit a client's house before doing something, and it was a Saturday. And so he's like, wait in the car. We were in Manhattan. He's like, I'll be right back. Goes in this enormous townhouse in Manhattan, and he texts me, and he's like, I'll be right down. I'm taking a shit. I was like, are you kidding me? He's like, I just wanted to be able to say that I dropped a spike in Spike Lee's house. (laughs) It was Spike Lee's house. I'm like, you're a fucking animal. I applaud that So, (laughs) So that was one. My girlfriend used to go to a therapist who did therapy in her den, which was off of the kitchen, which the bathroom was off of the kitchen. So she's in the middle of a session. She's like, I have to go to the bathroom. She goes through the kitchen into the bathroom. She shits her brain down. <laughs> she can't flush. Oh, God. The toilet starts to back up. That's my worst nightmare. She walks out of the bathroom into the kitchen. The therapist's husband is making a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> she goes into the therapist's den, sits down, and is bright red. And the therapist says, what's the matter? You don't look well. She's like, I don't, I uh, I, I, need to tell you. I don't want to tell. It's like this whole fucking thing. <laughs> she tells her what just happened. And the therapist starts reprimanding her. <laughs> oh, geez. Not for doing what she did, but for being embarrassed about it. And my friend was like, I'd have to disagree with you. This is a normal human reaction. <laughs> she's like, what does this say about you? And she's like, your toilet's broken. <laughs> like, and they ended up having a huge fight. <laughs> How does that make you feel? How does that make How you bad feel? is that? Then she right. got charged for it. Yeah. So that's my two stories. And then I have my own, but we'll go around the table. So what? That's so you shat in someone else's bathroom yep. and in a pool. And actually, it was the vice president of the company's <laughs> house, too. So. Wow. That's mm. amazing. That's good stuff. I didn't get in trouble, amazingly. Was it a bridge? No, it was, <laughs> was very, it very loose. A Dairy Queen? <laughs> it was a Dairy <laughs> Queen. <laughs> if that. Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was satellites, orbits. You know, it was like, like a soup. <laughs> yes. It was like a minestrone. It was, it was soup and terror. It was terror. It was a terror garden. With some meatballs? Yeah, it was a garden of terror. <laughs> <laughs> it was Swedish meatball. You're not turned oh. on by now, people. <laughs> so sexy. So <laughs> sexy. Oh, As yeah. Matt Paxton says, <laughs> you can't get a boner <laughs> listening to this show. Page, craziest place you've shot. I, I, this I might really be hard don't for have you. Because one. Because you don't I don't public. exactly. She I can't, can't do it. <laughs> public. I can't. You're my stories woman. are about how long I've endured not <laughs> shitting, and that's my story. You're at how the much, other end of the spectrum. How much gas yeah. was coming out of my anus? <laughs> it wasn't that. It was like how gray my skin <laughs> turned from not being shit. Oh, man. All right. I'll tell the, the two. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> a fat chick. Her <laughs> ass was in the air. Exactly. The two that come to mind is one. There's two. I was getting dropped off at the train station. <laughs> so I was sitting in a car with someone waiting for the train to show up to the station. And as soon as I saw it, you know, about a quarter mile away, I jumped out of the I car. I Said goodbye. Ran up the stairs to the train station. And midway up the stairs, felt this, oh, 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 God, feeling in my stomach. Then walked up the remainder of the stairs, got to the top, and waited for the train to pull in. When the doors opened, I immediately ran to the bathroom, barely made it, (laughs) opened the door to the bathroom, and... The bathroom was so small that I had to turn to face the door to get my pants down. And then before I had a chance to fix myself, I felt this (laughs) releasing sensation. (laughs) Dramatic pause. As I swung to turn to get onto the bowl, but it was already too late. 
And you didn't. You weren't wearing your linen pants, were you? I was not. Oh, thank and God. <laughs> so I, I, tur- I turned so violently at the exact same time that I drew a brown line <gasps> on the wall, which. You left your mark. Ran, oh, ran no. Downward. No. I, Hieroglyphics. <laughs> Cave painting. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you feces smearing animal. They're still studying me right now. <laughs> Wondering how your coverage of your penis is. What did you do? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Waited for the next stop and got the hell out of I'm like... Because I know that I would be breaking out in a sweat. Well, let me tell you what would, I, the I, quality of train toilet paper is. Ugh. Okay, first of all, there wasn't much left. I was going to say, I'm surprised they even had any. Right. So, there <laughs> wasn't any. There was no toilet paper left. What do you do? Use what, the other wall. What did I do? Use your underwear? Your underwear. Damn. <laughs> and Socks. Yes. Oh, all decision. of them. W- do you, were you wearing three? Like, Underwear. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. I, was, I think it meant all of your the socks. socks. Yes. Okay. Penis. No. <laughs> Underwear first. Use that. Second, took the shoes off. Used each sock. Yes. And left. You needed some shittens. I needed shittens big time. <laughs> so I left where <laughs> three garments lighter than I entered. Where did you put... Did you put them in the garbage? Garments. Um, I forget if there was... I remember being like, I need to get out of here now. Because somebody's going to... There wasn't a proper receptacle to put <laughs> shit, shit covered boxers and two socks. With so, your cave drawings. W- with the cave drawings <laughs> dripping, currently <laughs> dripping down the wall. So I believe I stayed in there longer than I should have until I f- felt the train come to a stop and I immediately ran out. Waited on the platform for the next train, and then I've been there. in public bathrooms where I've walked in, and there would be like a pile of shit on the floor. And oh my yes, is, who does it? that? Now we know. No. <laughs> now you know. Now you know. I mean, you have to assume that royalty. <laughs> no one else but royalty. <laughs> wow. I mean, instead of you know persecuting people like that, you should feel sorry for them. <laughs> Good lord. Put your well, socks in their sockless little, shoes. It interferes with exactly. my shitting. Because like, I am immediately not going to go to the bathroom if I see your dump. Interferes with your bridge building. <laughs> you I have d- a bridge to build. <laughs> you d- yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> my socks and really underwear. I'm not shitting myself right now. That didn't matter. Once you would walk in and see the shit all over the walls, <laughs> you wouldn't care anyway. You would just walk out. Right. So, okay. So that you said you have two stories? It says one. Well, that, that was a very interesting one. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> um, the other one was more for just uh, shitting for entertainment. It wasn't really uh, the same type. It, <laughs> it, it does. You? Let me tell you that. Yeah. Let me tell you. Um, the other one was just. Uh, he scares me. <laughs> <laughs> more of you know, like junior high school kids doing stupid things where. We would go to the neighborhood uh, jungle gym, slide, and take high-altitude dumps <laughs> down the slide from as high, high as altitude. we could reach. So we would go up onto Do they the... they have a different density up there? Yeah. Monkey <laughs> bars. We were really testing Newton's law to see <laughs> how, geniuses. how far... We would you know, measure the velocity and see you know, what the resistance of the air would be, air friction, to slow down the dump onto the slide. <laughs> And downward. Now, prior to arriving at said jungle gym, mm-hmm. did you make sure that you were ready to shit, or was it like just on the spot, like, "Hey, Henry, why don't you give us some shit?" And you were just ready. Um, no, it wasn't pre-planned. It was more <laughs> of a bunch of people doing like really spontaneous stupid things. shitting. Wow! You know when you, uh, you're, I guess, I'm older than junior high, maybe early high school, where. You're at the you're at the age where you're not old enough to drive. Nobody's at the age where you can drive anywhere, mm-hmm. but somehow you can maybe get your hands on alcohol or enough things to do stupid shit in a group. And we were doing that in some a wine field. coolers, yeah, that type of thing. Maybe a little Zima, <laughs> some wine coolers, some <laughs> yeah. Seagrams, Bartles and James. 
So we were, you know, imbibing, and Can it seemed like a good idea to for <laughs> two of us to try to shut down the slide. That's never a good idea, dude. No, I didn't. Yeah, no. But that's okay. You answered the question. Yeah, am, that's yeah. phenomenal. So you guys are <laughs> definitely raking in the pussy in high school. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> what you're saying. Absolutely. I mean, could you resist a guy that could drink like <laughs> like like three and a half zemas and shut down the slide? <laughs> Eat my chocolate soap <laughs> pussy. It's hot, man. I'm so hot right now. Mine is not at all as exciting as yours. Um, I went on a hike. Oh. <laughs> I know where this is going. I believe it was Colorado, and I had been camping in um, Estes Park in the Rocky Mountains. I think I have the same story, but go ahead. <laughs> For about approximately four or five days. Oh, man. It feels good, though. Yeah. And I mean, it's we're like a talking Bob Denver like, song, <laughs> Rocky Mountain Dump. <laughs> <laughs> I can hear it now. Can you please My name ass the episode? My has that? so much fucking power. Um, I mean, it was just, this was hard court camping, motherfuckers. Like we were, you were doing a lot of this. <laughs> we were doing a lot of rock, rock climbing. climbing. I'm brushing my teeth like next to a tree with a, a fucking deer looking at me. I mean, there was a lot going on. I wouldn't have sex because I hadn't showered. I was like, I think my pussy has like lice in it. Like, it was just crazy. <laughs> Here we go. This is my song. I bless that mountain. <laughs> my feces. Oh, rest in peace. So you just, w- you, you just went somewhere. <laughs> so what happened was boyfriend at the time to go to go for a hike he was not cartman <laughs> and i was like awesome let's do it because i was, was really, joey but a few joey but a fuco i was very outdoorsy back then and i was very in shape so I strapped on my hiking boots and we went for a hike and it was a beautiful day and we shared some kisses mm. <laughs> some moments we stole some kisses <laughs> And we reached a plateau. And I said, Ooh, I, I'm having some pain. Sort of like the guy on the cover of the cock ring. Whole few years. I was like, Ooh. Ooh, is that my appendix? <laughs> That's my appendix. Very sc- so, and you know, we have ingested so much trail mix. And, right? <laughs> and it just took its toll. And I'm like, I really, I have to go to the bathroom. And he thought I had to pee. Like, what a big deal. So I go into a bush and it fucking poured out of me. <laughs> Rocky Mountain. <bro. laughs> I had a white ass bleed with a squirrel. <laughs> I wish I needed that friction. I had a fucking smooth leaf. And the you, entire hike up, I had swamp ass. You, you need a pine cone. Oh. Yeah. And there was no shower. We came back to nothing. And I'm like, I'm going to make the tent smell like a big seeming dump because my asshole <laughs> hasn't been properly cl- like I was so freaked out about it my boy was like what's the big deal it's my it's shit nature. it's my shit <laughs> I'm Joey but a fuel <laughs> you shit in the woods it's no big deal so yes I shat in the woods <laughs> <laughs> I thought I had the same story but my story was similar we went camping but they're involving altitude <laughs> it's true no no a new story oh where ev- we went camping and, you know, the same thing. When you go camping and there's no standard mm. bathroom, everybody has to kind of make a decision as to where this is going to happen. And it also fucks up your system. It does fuck up your system. But the Amen. consensus of, among the guys, at least, was we found this thing we called shit log, <laughs> which stuck across the stream. So we would wait out there in our bathing suits. <laughs> And it was like a tree that had fallen halfway across it's the like stream. It's like a rite of passage. That poor tree. <laughs> and it gave its life to be shit on. <laughs> it's it's after time him. for you to go to shit log. So going to shit log. We would act very natural. <laughs> Gonna cut you unless you go to shit log, motherfucker. You're going to shit log. Squeal like a pig. <laughs> but we would act very natural. And, you know, I'm just going for a dip. So we would go out and, you know, go just, just want to get a little cool off a little bit. <laughs> And, you know, we'd kind of like splash around, you know, just cooling off, cooling off. And then wow. we would act very casual and just like, you know, like I'm chilling out, you, you know, with my arms across ha- uh, across the tree, <laughs> kicking my feet in the stream. And suddenly I would 
lower my bathing suit and <laughs> let it shoot down the river. <laughs> it was like a natural. Flush. Oh, it was. I mean, ask. I, I will. I will get witnesses that will tell you it was the best experience. It felt That's so genius. fucking good. And your asshole was getting. Clean. Oh, it was beautiful. It was. It was how nature intended. Your moment it's of zen. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> Connect with I nature. Did that. It would shoot out like it's one of the few times in life where maybe the only time where I've been able to take a shit and not. I've never seen it. I don't know where. What I don't know what it looked like. Like I know what it felt like. Part of you will. But it, right. It's still out there. It's like an orphan. Go be you never free. Need. It's like <laughs> you put it up for adoption, and you know, 15 years down the you road, it, it contacts you. you. Let it go with love. It says, "I found you know, I, con- I see you on Facebook. <laughs> I'd like to have a relationship with you." <laughs> oh my God, the orphan feces! Oh so I have, I have two or three shits out there that I never met. <laughs> Oh my! I don't, I don't even know if I'd recognize them if I saw them. <laughs> okay, I can't ever top that. I can't. Well, I can't. when I used to go boating with an ex-boyfriend, because again, oh, I was God. outdoorsy. We used to call it checking the anchor. Like we'd be like, I gotta go check the anchor, and then you dip in and you would shit in the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> Make it sound so sexy. But it wasn't as awesome because the ocean is still. That's true. So there was no like floating down the river. Like it, you're essentially wading in your own feces. And you have to worry about it hitting your feet. Right. Yeah. So you got to get the fuck back on that boat. Right. So you called it shit log. I we yeah. checked the anchor. <laughs> That's right. Shit log. <laughs> That's great. Oh, man. I'm turned on. I can't. I can't <laughs> top any of that. All my shit stories are about being on tour and not being able to. Oh, wait, wait. There was Here we one. Go. Hold on. Here we Hold go. on. You just sparked a memory. Oh God. All right. So, all right. So I've been on tour. This is like a two month tour, and I've been on the road for like six weeks, and it's been nothing but shit problems the whole time because I can't shit in public. The worst. So we're going to play, the band I was playing with at the time, we're going to play this big festival. And there was this guy that I had kind of hooked up with a couple of times that's going to be at this festival. And he got us this beautiful hotel room and wanted me to stay with him for the duration of the festival. And I was really excited. Like, this is going to be awesome. I've been sleeping in the van. I've been sleeping in shitty hotel rooms on people's floors. This is going to be awesome. I'm going to go stay with this guy. We're going to hook up. It's going to be great. So we finally get there. It was like a 10-hour drive. We finally get in. We go check in. I go meet the guy at the hotel room. He's all happy to see me. Uh-oh. Guess what I gotta do? Shit. Okay, so I'm like, <laughs> listen, just you know? let me let me go take. I've been Psychic. on the road. Let me take a shower. You know, let me just clean up. And he's like, yeah, yeah, go do your thing. All right. So the first thing I do is I turn on the shower because that's what you do. You don't want dude to hear anything that's going on behind mm. the closed door. So I do my business, and it's a beautiful hotel. I think it was like a double tree or something like that. It was a nice hotel. Mm-hmm. The fucker wouldn't flush. <gasps> What do you do? What do you do? Let's go back to the mitten story, okay? <laughs> Let's revisit what that. What do you do? What do you do? Good old shittin'. Good old shittin's. So after- I think part of, the, of what we should be learning right now is that before you start anything that could be a problem, <laughs> you want to test the toilet. Test the flush. <laughs> Sometimes it's such an emergency. Oh, know, I understand. I understand. Situation. But the more, the bigger emergency it is, the more, the more you should, you should test. Ch- exactly. Test the no, that's very Not that good you advice. Not you can do anything about it. It's but very good well, advice. Then you're going to make cave drawings. Go in the sink. Because the or longer something. you wait, so what I did, yeah, the sink. <laughs> good <laughs> I pulled up the toilet <laughs> paper. You made a mitten. I scooped. <laughs> How'd you not remember this? <laughs> First, I, I don't know. First, I scooped it out. Blocked it out. I did. I blocked it out. Psychologist. I feel like I'm in a psychiatrist's office and I'm digging deep. All right. Literally. I put it in the garbage can because I don't know what else to do with it. But I'm like, I can't leave it in there. I'm staying in this room with this guy for three days. You just want to think. You put it in the I shower. <laughs> Because that's what I would have done. To do the you threw it out the window. You threw it out the window, didn't you? You, you poured your acid shit on out it. the window. If it was an option, I would have. I balled up the plastic bag and I go, I'll be right back. I got to go find the guys because they were standing in the room down the hall. I like it. So I backed it up and I ran and I found the garbage chute, disposed of it, and came back like nothing ever wow. happened. That's genius. That was a good job. You know what? Handled well. I got to tell you, I give you a lot of respect. Handled well. That was really handled well <laughs> because you cannot leave a floater. Listen, in the room. when the chips are down, you got to kick in the action. As far as that guy knows, you don't Survival. shit. No, he doesn't know. You don't shit. And hopefully he and never you don't put shit. Podcast. And you don't put shit in garbage cans. <laughs> no. He doesn't know any of that. 
Uh, I was once on medication for a UTI. If I have a toilet baby, I'm fucked. <laughs> Sorry. If you've ever had a UTI, you take this med and it makes your pee like... Didn't the- that happen at prom? <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't going to tell that story. Oh, I'm sorry. That makes everybody you uncomfortable. You confided in me. UTI medication. I want to hear Wait. this one. This is good. Okay. I mean, we don't have to. Mm-mm. No, I want this. It, well, it, it makes- at least involves a vagina. There's some sort <laughs> yeah. of sex involved. Right? We're, we're moving along. It numbs your bladder. Mm. And it makes you pee the color of orange gate. Oh, God. Yes. Exactly. Okay. I've had to take that before. Oh. <laughs> Not good. I fucking peed this shit. And the toilet didn't flush. And I was in a hotel room with some friends. And I was like, you know what? I forgot I was on the meds. So I was like, oh, whatever. And I walk out and I'm sitting there and all of a sudden I hear someone screaming. (laughs) What the fuck happened in here? I told you. (laughs) Do you know that I sat there and I would not own up to it? Oh, is that like, real? <laughs> like I was. Like, that means somebody went in there and peed a bloody death, and no one knows. And, up and to the it. guy was losing his shit. <laughs> Who did it? And we're all like, I don't know. And finally, his <laughs> girlfriend's like, I think maybe it was like you know maybe the maid or someone took a pee in there, and I was like, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Totally like, legitimate. Actually. Blame it on the asshole. Get rid of a wage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It looks like Powerade. It felt so bad. <laughs> but not really. Not, I mean, not bad enough. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Jeff. I didn't mean to say Powerade. I know that's your drink of choice. <laughs> this is what it looked like. I'm getting excited <laughs> A little now. darker. I'm drinking Dr. Stacey <laughs> Jeff has a boner. <laughs> Why don't we go to Bruno just to kind of like get me into the mode of emails and get us away from this. Hey, why are you sucking bed fans? It's Bruno. <laughs> oh, Bruno. <okay. laughs> <laughs> Married or single? Married. Awesome. Now, how long have you been married for? A uh, year and a half. Year and a half. Cool. If your wife was to pose in some kind of like risque, provocative type, you know, photography, have a photo shoot with a male photographer, and you weren't allowed to attend, how would you feel? I'd be fine with it. I I, I trust her that she's going to make a good decision. Plus, I mean, I've already I've already seen all the nudes she shot with other dudes from before we were married. So it's she's kind of open about stuff like that. No, nope. I, I don't judge. Okay, that's why we're happy. Okay. You, how, how do you think the average guy would feel about that? I don't know. He'd probably be, um, he would probably just retreat into a cave of insecurity, uh, which would ultimately cause his woman to doubt him as a man. And that's why she's out getting naked photos done. Because it's over. <laughs> okay, you're on Twitter, right? Totally on Twitter. Is your wife on Twitter? Uh, yeah, she's on Twitter too. Now, how do you feel like if she actually like starts following like like really hot guys and got hot guys start following her? Does that kind of like what the fuck? Oh, I don't, I don't care. She she gets hit on by chicks. That's that's her. But that she, doesn't bother you. No, I don't. No, I don't care. I mean, honestly, if dudes hit on her or or, or whatever, it just doesn't matter. I just I trust her, and, and if she wants to go bang somebody else, then go ahead. I don't care. Uh, what's the one thing that you want? to do sexually that you haven't done yet there's really everything we've we've taken care of it all well it doesn't have to be with your wife it could be with anybody <laughs> i've pretty much taken care of everything that i need to do yeah really i mean there's i mean there's all the weird stuff that you know you're not into but as far as you know your run-of-the-mill shit you see in porn i've done it all oh right on yeah uh, do you uh did your wife have a favorite sex toy uh no not so much um no we're not we're uh, mostly just uh non-apparatus users do you, you ever not apparatus? So you never incorporate it into your sex life? Like it, I, 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 I think we have, but I think uh, I, I think we oh I, we we had like two we had two uh, vibrators or dildos or whatever. Uh, then when we moved, uh, they got lint on them, and I think she threw them away. <laughs> so I'm not saying we we still have any now. We'd have to go buy them. 
what did you think of Jamaica, by the way? Oh, it was amazing, man. This, come on. You look in the, every, you're just surrounded by, by beauty and obese Americans. You, you know what? I, I, and I, there's a lot of hall passes being given to people here. I, I have noticed that. But you know what? I, I think it just comes with the kind of person that chooses this to have, you know, Jamaica as their destination. So they just freely swing the way they do. And you're right. There are a ton of fucking hall passes thrown right. around. It's a little, it's, a, it's like, yeah, I, I heard some stories. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I would love to get into it, but uh, that's not good for business. Hey, by the way, guys, this is John Toll. Yeah, he's, he's on the block party tour. What do you think of the whole Jamaica stretch as opposed to like a regular weekend in Cleveland and Pittsburgh? <laughs> Well, the weather was uh, better. Uh, we didn't have a blind guy getting tackled on stage. Uh, the fans were... An Indian incredible. guy walking into walls. That dude has problems. Uh, but as far as uh, probably next to Toronto, the most attentive audience, very supportive. They had a great time. Uh, and hopefully when we do this again, they all get to come back. All right. Hey, so where can the people follow you on Twitter? Because you're one funny motherfucker. Thank you. Uh, Twitter and Facebook and Witstream at John Toll, J-O-H-N-T-O-L-E, also John Jontoll.com. And if you want to listen to my podcast where I break down all things... We're not plugging podcasts. Go ahead. <laughs> all things conspiracies. Tune into John Toll's America, also found on iTunes. New record coming out this summer. Follow this guy, people. He's really funny. All right. Thank you. John Toll really is funny. I saw him do stand-up at a block party. He's a good guy, so definitely follow him. He's funny. Maybe we can get him on the show. If your wife was to do a sexy photo shoot with a male photographer and you weren't allowed to attend, how would you feel? I would be completely fine. You, you would be? You trust your wife? I most certainly trust What about the fucking photographer? Would you be mad? No, I wouldn't be mad at all. No? No, I actually would be a little excited. Really? Yeah, I, I think my wife is beautiful and I would love anyone else to see her, so I, that, that, would get me, that would get me rock hard. All right. Okay. Uh, you want it honestly? I, I, this is awesome. Um, I'm about to drop my pants right now and show you what I'm working with. Yeah, go ahead, guy. You can drop your pants in front of everybody. I'll say fucking see it. Come on. Only guys with big dick. Only guys with No, big it's just fucking it. starting. <laughs> no. Um, do you... What's your wife's favorite sex toy? Does she have one that you know no. of? No. No, my wife is not a sex I wish she I was. I bet she has one and you no, don't know about it. she doesn't. Trust me. My wife is about as honest as you get. I wish she would have one or more or any. What? What's one thing that's on your bucket list sexually that you haven't done? Yet. It could be a person, position, it could be anything. Um, not really. Uh, not really. Uh, not, I, I have almost. I, you fucking know something. Just give it to me, man. Um, I'd like to have. I, I would like to have two guys and my wife with me. Because I'm a bi freak. Oh, okay. That's cool. Wow. Why are you want to I know. How, how, how would your wife feel? I'm getting, my wife would be okay with it. Oh, really? Okay. That's cool. Um, I, that would just be adding one guy. <laughs> yeah, would, to what? I already already filled off my bucket right, list. So, right. wait, why don't we add three guys to that? So, how about five guys, me and my wife? So, okay. dick everywhere. <laughs> Stop and let all... Oh, you love I, that. I love... Yes. Okay. I, I don't, I'm not attracted to men, but I am attracted to peepees. That's interesting. I never I, heard that. No. Okay. Um, you know how feminine I am, bro. Right? Well, you were, were really wearing a pink shirt. I had no I idea. Found a seersucker on fucking seersucker. Fucking it's last night. Seersucker so, and man. So <laughs> we're here. So we're here in Jamaica. And did you get laid at all yet? No, I'm married, and my wife's not here. That's a good answer. <laughs> and, uh, anybody? I've been hearing the term hall passes being used a lot. I Jamaica. probably have a hall. I have a hall pass. I'm allowed to do, especially like if I, if especially if there's a boy, I definitely get a hall pass. But there's no boys. All right. Oh. I like them. I like them young and skinny, like okay. Ukrainian. You know, like really emaciated <laughs> with like big veiny cocks. Oh. All right. Well, anyway, uh, thanks, dude. Thanks We're for the no like, answer. Honestly, <laughs> I don't like guys. But I like pee pee. But I like pee pee. Wow, I could do a number on him. Five guys, me and my wife. Have you ever heard that? Wow. That a guy. I don't like guys, but I like pee pee. I've heard girls say I don't like women, but I love tits. No, I've right. Never. But I feel like tits aren't as sex. Like, they're not like real sexual organs. They're not veiny. Do you know what I mean? They're not, they're not Ukrainian. Like, I do. I appreciate a nice rack on a chick. And I actually have said, let me touch the... Like, just because it's very interesting. You appreciate a pretty, nice rack. They're pretty. A nice exactly. cleavage is attractive. Anyone can appreciate that. He's cutting very close to the bone. No. 
Pun intended. Yeah. Well said. So to speak. Phenomenal. Bruno, what kind of freaks did you find out in fucking Jamaica? <laughs> that guy sounded like a full-on animal. Yeah. But he even said he was a bi freak. Yeah. Yeah. Did you catch that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. By, by freaks.com? Wow. Bruno didn't even ask follow-up questions. He was so <laughs> He's like, all right. <laughs> was um, so I'm gonna shocked. Go. I'm going to go now. Uh, okay. And now a word from our sponsor. Amazon.com, <laughs> Gamefly. <laughs> Amazon.com, our sponsor. Go to Riotcast.com, click on the Why You Suck in Bed page, and we are there at the Amazon.com banner. If you buy your shit from Amazon through our link, we get a small percentage so we can pay for this podcast and keep it free for you guys. I fucking love Amazon. Gamefly.com. Good, some good kitty video games. The Netflix the video Netflix games. For video games. <laughs> Gamefly.com forward slash suck. suck. And tweakedaudio.com. These guys are awesome. You, If you need any kind of um, earbuds. They have all different kinds, all different colors. They have mic'd earbuds, non-mic'd earbuds. They are very comfortable. I They're need new s- earbuds. They sounds amazing. Tell Tweak- me the name again. Tweakedaudio.com. You put in the promo code SUCK and you get 33% off. I'm on that. And they're hot. They have green ones, pink ones. They have ones that are wood. They look like little wood, pieces of wood in your ears. Like oh, ones cool. you can use with your phone. That's right. We love Tweaked Audio. I love the free samples they gave us. All right. So now I got to find my email, which I believe I lost. Mm-hmm. Of course I did because I suck. You got about 45 seconds. Hurry up. It's time to answer your emails. All right. I have a voicemail. We'll play that soon. Okay. So our fan Elizabeth, who always writes really cool emails for us, sent us a link, and also asked if any of us have ever used a flashlight. And I do not have a penis, so I have... <laughs> you could use it on somebody else, though. I could. I could use it on somebody else. Um, and I think she... Oh, let me see. She wrote another follow-up one. Um, let's see. I'm looking for... I just want to make sure I, I get all her stuff. I will just say no. All right. So then she wants to know, what are our thoughts on flash, flashlights? So a flashlight is essentially, and this, this I have to say, baffles me. It is a flashlight, right? It's shaped like a flashlight. Yeah, but mm-hmm. it's not really flashlight Right, anyway. and it's, you stick your penis in it. So it has no illuminating features whatsoever? No, not so. Not See, at they all. could have done both and made it <laughs> well, <laughs> dual purpose. And then you stick your penis in it. You want me to jump in here? Yeah. yeah all right. Because I've seen someone fuck one. Because, all right, on the yeah, glory hole, Mr. PP fucked a flashlight on the air. They videotaped it and okay. they made his best friend hold it. And there was this whole debate over that whether that was gay or not. <laughs> um, it's a gray area. I didn't. Definitely gray. Find it attractive at all watching mm-hmm. him fuck a flashlight. Yeah. But yeah, jump in. Why do right. it have to be shaped like a fucking flashlight? Well, the whole I appeal. Are, <laughs> I don't. When it's flashlight first it. came out on the scene, the whole appeal was that it was a male masturbation device that was disguised to look like a flashlight. Right. Now, <laughs> it doesn't really look like a flashlight, in my personal opinion. It looks like a big, giant 1980s flashlight, but the. the novelty of it all was pretty cool. Now, since it's been out for a little while, they've come out with all these different inserts that you can put into your fleshlight that either mimic a vagina, an ass, or a mouth, which is really cool. And a lot of the inserts um, are molds. I'm thinking about which one I'd pick. Hold on. Listen, listen, though. (laughs) A lot of the molds actually mimic like certain porn stars' vaginas or asses or whatever, and they even have like male mouths if you're gay, you know, if that's what you're into. A donkey. They came out with like a vampire series. I'm going to show you a picture of it that uh, actually has like fangs. But the whole thing is that you can pull the insert out after you can wash it. You can, you know, stick in the dish, the dishwasher. I don't know if the dishwasher's safe oh, or not. But the whole bullshit. the whole thing is like you can <laughs> interchange the inserts depending on what you're into. But the idea totally took off. You know, the whole yeah. thing about the whole hidden, yeah. you know, the hidden aspect yeah. of it. 
if you saw the thing sitting on a counter, you would be like, what the fuck is this thing? I don't think you'd be like, oh, that's a flashlight. It's way too big to be yeah. a flashlight. Right. But I think it's kind of more of the novelty of okay. it all. But the idea is brilliant, and it took off. It's one of the best sellers on yeah. our website. It's it's no. brilliant. What kind of um, movement action? There's no movement. Oh, really? No, you not just at all. Hold it and it's just a silicone it. insert, and uh, you move it up and down on yourself. And guys love it. It wow. sounds I like they love it. fucking crazy. I, th- I thought that there would be some sort of... No, no, Mechanical. no vibration or anything oh. like that. What's the difference between a male mouth insert and a female mouth insert? Yeah. Uh, you can tell. You can tell like the lip shape has more of a masculine. If you did it, if you did like a Google search on Flushlight. Like when a guy's mouth is on you. The <laughs> <laughs> goatee. Right. It doesn't have facial hair. Well, <laughs> good call though. Sometimes you feel his mustache rub against you. I'm trying to stubble. Google yeah. a flashlight. Just Google flashlight. It's it, like a shitload of pictures that come up. Oh, look, no, there's, there's the cow. suck you dry. See, that one has See, the... Uh, so this is the vampire. That's the vampire one. Kudos to them to capitalize off the fucking vampire trend that's going on right now. Yeah, so if anyone wants to see someone fucking a flashlight... Oh, just just Google flashlight. Yeah. Also, Tons of pictures and videos <laughs> will come up. That's what you will look like if you're a psychologist. Glory hole <laughs> uh, has Mr. Peepee fucking one. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, so there's a flashlight. Um, anyone here ever try it? No. No, I kind of wish I had, but no. It, it is such a, it's such a big deal. Like, it is it is the male counterpart to the rabbit as far as, like, sales. What's going on here in this picture? What you got there? It's a mounted oh, flashlight. Oh, you know what that is? Are you guys familiar with Liberator? Like, no. Liberator Furniture? Yeah, yeah, you always yeah. see their ads in the back of Rolling Stone the, or Max. Fold, oh, this? Yeah, they cushions. call it, like, Adventure oh, Furniture. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right, Liberator makes sex furniture. Basically, it's like platforms and things that you can prop your sexual partner up on for all different, you know, positions and penetrations. They actually teamed up with Fleshlight so that the Liberator furniture has an insert for the Fleshlight. So you can actually bang a piece of furniture at like a position that would be natural. So it takes me back to my 11 year old, you know, childhood. (laughs) Totally. You don't need a real person anymore. (laughs) Exactly. You really don't. Putting my dick in the couch. (laughs) It's pretty brilliant. Wow. Evolution. Wow. So there you go, Elizabeth. Now, I've seen pictures. I don't know if it's actually come out in the market yet, but Fleshlight is supposed to have a hookup to an iPad where you hook, it has a harness, and you hook your Fleshlight up to your iPad, and your iPad will play essentially like a porno mm. of a woman's body uh, so that yeah. it's like you're uh, fucking your iPad. I like that. Mm. Uh, Safe sex uh, in a whole different meeting. Mm. Jesus. Uh, I don't uh, like that. Where did that come from? You black out. You don't remember these things? <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather me play the other one? Uh, no. So... <laughs> Uh, that was oh, me. that's a good one. That was me imitating a tennis match. Okay, I'll when they go, eh. <laughs> give me, more, give me more ammo. Go ahead. Do <laughs> was that doodle? <laughs> All right. That was a penguin. <laughs> they have sex too. Yes. They're monogamous, you know. All right, I here's know, an heard. email from Clinton Band, who we all love. Dear Stacy, Molly, John, and TP, I will say that I'm a 29-year-old white male, 6'4", 200... Nice. <laughs> sensitive nipple approves. <laughs> 220 pounds, average size penis at 7 inches, with a slight curve upward, which my wife claims hits her at the right spot. But we don't know your ethnicity. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you have an instructional that is my flashlight, flashlight video. video. <laughs> yeah. Playing a little too loudly. I listened to your latest show, and the topic of two guys and one girl really intrigued me. My fantasy has always been to be in a male male female situation, but I never wanted to go down with a girl I had a romantic feelings for. However, I was never really interested in male female female situation. Because two women hooking up never really got me going. I've never seen two guys hooking up, so I can't say for certain whether that would do it for me. But I don't think that it would. Topic number two, anal sex. So I am a butt man. I like butts of all shapes and sizes as long as they're nice and my wife has a nice ass on her, if I do say so myself. I've always wanted to fuck her in the ass, but the one time she let me, she said I was too big for that and always says, it's no, 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 it's too big. Recently, we got a little adventurous and went to our local sex shop to do a few, get a few toys for the bedroom and picked up an anal plug while we were there. We've used it three times and she loves it every time, although she's usually a little drunk during those times, but still refuses to do anal. The butt plug seems to help get her off faster and she's never been against it. Any advice on a new way to approach the anal Keep problem? Keep drunk. She obviously goes for it when she's drunk, right? Isn't that what he said? 
It's baby steps. I think I agree. I think you gotta lube it, lick it. Step one is definitely get her drunk, though. <laughs> <laughs> We've all agreed that inebriation yeah. is key. <laughs> Step one. Yeah. <laughs> I think you gotta like play. Ludes, man, quaaludes, dude. Play with lube. No, lube is my. Ludes. I think you just gotta buy a bottle of Boone's Farms and anal beads and go for it. <laughs> yeah, make it fun and like do some anal play. It is, it's and you're not steps. too big for it. Like chloroform. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Does this rag smell funny? <laughs> Make sure she didn't just build a bridge beforehand either. I'm thinking, maybe this is wrong for me, but I'm thinking that since she already accepts the anal plug. Loosen up, babe. Exactly. Take, get yourself another device that you can, basically you got to pull a switcheroo. Put something else in hole number one. And pretend you're putting the butt plug in hole number two and sneak your way in there. The old switcheroo. The old <laughs> switcheroo. Wow. You can so so the your, sneak attack. Your, sneak attack. <laughs> the your suggestion harbor. is to pull a fast <laughs> one. My, my a sensitive fast one. nipple would call that the problem. <laughs> <laughs> All you have to do is are get her to the point where... Are you where insinuating a Trojan horse type Trojan situation? Trojan horse, exactly. Yeah. All, All right. you have to do is just put you know the tip in and say, how does that feel? And all you need to do is get her to say, that feels good. And you'll be like, ha-ha! <laughs> That's then, my dick in your ass. And then a fight ensues. I don't think so. She I, don't, I told don't, you to stop that. I she, told you. I don't feel, feel confident that you feel tested this. She'd feel too hypocritical, I think. I think, all right, so, <laughs> here's you my suggestion. You just said it felt good. You're going to shame her into anal? You just said it felt good. The anal shame. <laughs> anal shame. Anal shame. Yeah, you want to leave anal shame out of it if you're trying to coerce no, her I into anal not sex. Feel, I have not feel tested this. I'm not saying that. I know that it works. I'm just saying that. Well, listen, if she already likes the anal plug, you're, work your way up. Yeah. It's baby steps right. like work a vibrator into it you know and not like a full-blown rabbit or something crazy just even just a, a small vibrator just she has to be the one to initiate the step up you have your foot in the door so Ex- exactly that's right. huge right. that's huge he's, he's already got the he's already established his that she enjoys the, the yeah. anal play right. <laughs> but his foot is not in the ass right. oh, you could no. kill somebody if he you hasn't been to Russia yet <laughs> Be careful. <laughs> Be careful. <laughs> that will fascinate me. I I will find out if that's true or not because <laughs> that shit is crazy. Killing man by putting it forward. I just want to know how it happened. <laughs> Exactly. I mean, how do you some... fucking stick your ass up into someone's asshole? Your foot. Your foot. Your foot. Your foot. Did I see your ass? Your ass. Oh. You stick your Can ass. you stick an ass into an asshole? <laughs> <laughs> ass that has. I don't hold that. I don't. You certainly can't kill somebody if you do. <laughs> you might be able to, maybe. You certainly you can't kill them. If, if, but if you have a really like malleable ass, hole, what? <laughs> you can stick in a, a little bit into someone's ass. A little ass. bit. You can't kill hole. them. You no, know, I'm not saying kill them. them. Is it I'm possible? You can't kill I, don't, I don't care about killing. I don't think you can stick a foot in an asshole. I just call bullshit. <laughs> But you can't, you certainly can't put an Listen, ass on what, an what's asshole. This, what's this gentleman's name that wrote this email? <laughs> Sorry. What's his name? Uh, Clinton. It's Clinton. Clinton Band. Clinton. Bland. Clinton Bland. Clinton. I keep calling a band. Clinton. Props to you for being adventurous and, and finding new ways to spice up your sex life. Baby steps. That's, uh, that's all I can say. Yeah. The anal plug seems to work. Work it up to the next size toy. Yes. Just incrementally. Incrementally. Exactly. And, and let her be the one to, to insert it. Let her do it. Let her find her comfort level. And soon your foot will be in there. Exactly. But I, I do suggest a switcheroo here or there. Maybe a slightly <laughs> larger. Oh, oh, slightly oh, larger. Butt, the slightly old. Slightly larger. Butt anal switcheroo. shame. Yeah. Little, the old Trojan horse. It's little not a magic Pearl trick. <laughs> Little bigger butt plug. The prestige. <laughs> it's all, yeah. <laughs> the prestige. You want to be the man on the stage. I've never Not the guy in the box. Not the guy in the box. Ever. As much as it does. <laughs> you don't want to be in the guy in the box. <laughs> as much as you want to be. Oh, God. All right, well, Clinton has a, a third thing he wants to say. He wants to tell everyone how great they are. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to kiss our ass. Yeah. Right, we'll, we'll take it's, time to it's listen. It's called Topic 3, Kissing Ass. All right, oh, let's, look let's listen oh, to this. Oh, good go job, guys. So, Stacy, you are the anchor of the show. Yeah. Drop an anchor. <laughs> I'm going to check the anchor. <laughs> check, check the, the anchor. anchor. Sorry. Uh, I'm still at the shit lock. <laughs> Perfecto. And a strong sexual woman. Yes. <laughs> with huge dumps. 
<laughs> I both respect and love that about you. Oh, thank you, Clinton. I love you. Molly, you're, and Molly's not here, but I'm sure she's going to listen to the show because she it will be back. But Molly, your addition to the show made me start to listen to it again after a while away, and I think the show is better than ever every show. I must agree with you about the vomit noises on air. It's disgusting and wish the TP would stop it. <laughs> More, here we go. More sounds of John's money shot and less of his vomit, please. Just a little less, at least. Please. Johnimal. <laughs> I always do the unexpected. A.K.A. the throbbing. You expect me to play them now, don't you? <laughs> yes. You expect me to overwhelm you with my vomit sound yes. effects now. I'm a different person than the Johnimal. That's right. When people tell him not to do his rants, he runs away and whines and screams, yeah, you don't want me to do my rants anymore. <laughs> You tell me not to do my vomit, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to play more of them. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. He says that Johnimal is fucking hilarious. I don't buy that you are crazy and mean as you lead on with your radio personality. But you do say what the average man would say. Good on ya. Can I get a Johnimal rant about anything? Well, next time he's here, I'm hoping <laughs> he does. Do my rant. <laughs> he wants to do a rant. <laughs> Yes, they, he knows they do. It's a mixed bag of reviews. This is lazy. TP, I must say you are a terrific sound guy, always there with a great comeback or sound effect ready to go. I must say again that the vomiting sounds are quite disturbing, and some people have phobias about that sort of thing. Keep up the great work, guys. You are great. Thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dude. That's disgusting. Seriously, like, you know, oh, you know what gets me? 30 minutes of talking about you know what, shit You know what gets disgusting. me is the spit when he's like, Dick. Talking That's- about your shit bridge wasn't disgusting, but me playing this effect is disgusting. That was a beautiful creation. People are sick. <laughs> You're lucky to have me. <laughs> All right, fuck you. Can we do some... Um, you want me to play this voicemail here? Some, yeah, play a voicemail. We received a voicemail, just so you guys know. Our number is... I'm going to pull it up. Do you have it? No, I thought you were. I was going to well, segue into you. Well, like I, got, I got to pull it up. Henry, what are you doing? All I hear is potato <laughs> chip bags. He's like, I'm, he's ravenous. He's like, I'm going to fucking snap. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> Call why you suck in bed at 978-503-SUCK. Suck. 978-503-SUCK. Leave us a voicemail. We'll play it on air. All right. We got our first voicemail, and here we go. <laughs> it's funny that it's about our guest. <laughs> Hi. My name is Eric, and I, I heard that you were going to have Paige back on your show, and I was wondering if I could ask her a question. I want to know if her band would be willing to perform in nothing but lingerie <laughs> from her store, TwistedToys.net. Uh, that's toys with a Z. <laughs> and if the lingerie thing doesn't work, what about bondage gear? Oh, okay, thank you. Bye. Can I just step in and say that Barney and the idiot boy will, but I won't. <laughs> no? I figured you would be the first one to like jump on board. I could picture you bondage in like a... Bondage gear, yes. Not in the lingerie. What, like what, kind, of bondage, yeah, what kind of bondage gear are you willing to wear? Let me see. Uh, a mask? A sample. And, well, uh, well, you, would see. you wear like one of the masks? Oh, yeah. yeah. With the zipper? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Why not? Like I like gimp, that. Like a gimp. Yeah. Bring in the gimp. That pretty much answers the question. Done. Yeah. <laughs> Would you perform? I think he was referring to your all-female <laughs> band. I was just joking. No, no, it. we've already established okay. that this is our band. All right. Okay. Would you be <laughs> performing in lingerie? We pretty much come close to that now. You, yeah. All right. So that's cool. There you go. He he promoted your your site, Twisted Toys with a Z. Thanks, buddy. Dot net. That's all I got. <laughs> <laughs> so let's do Stacey shit. <laughs> Stop! Oh god, stop! I hate you so much. Oh god! I'm leaving. Check the anchor. 
Rocky Mountain High. <laughs> Rocky Mountain <laughs> Dump. <laughs> I saw your cave drawings. <laughs> All right. This article is from Elizabeth. She emailed me this. It's really interesting. A firefighter is suing the city of Phoenix because he received pasta in the shape of a penis and vagina with his name written on it. <laughs> uh, Gawker has the story um, of Phoenix fireman Frank Sheatham. He was a deputy fire chief. In November of 2009, he observed two depictions of penis and testicles openly displayed in the workplace at Fire Station 1. Chatham complained that this graffiti created a hostile work environment and told the supervisors of Fire Station 1 that penis doodling behavior would not be tolerated. Penis doodling? <laughs> Doodle! Penis doodling. <laughs> Predictably, to predictably, and I mean entirely predictably, Jatham soon found himself and his assistant ostracized by the other members of the fire station. They wouldn't eat lunch with them. He also started seeing penises seemingly <laughs> everywhere he went, <laughs> including the gym, where he saw a T-shirt bearing another drawing of a penis and testicles draped over a piece of gym equipment. Penis. Rods. This guy has it coming. I know. Mommy. Hot dogs. Soon thereafter, Chief Chief uh, received a large brown envelope in interoffice mail containing two small pieces of pasta, <laughs> one which resembled a penis and the other a vagina. The piece of pasta resembling a vagina had his name Frank written on it. <laughs> <laughs> this is news. It's amazing. <laughs> In March of 2010, the chief was officially informed by telephone by his supervisors that, in fact, they decided to remove him from his position <laughs> and, and transfer him. So how in the hell do you go from someone sent me a vagina-shaped penis with my name on it to demoted? <laughs> cock. Cock. <laughs> this poor fucking guy. <laughs> he can't handle the hazing. Come on. Just get what? Grow some balls. Give me a break. That's some funny shit. I, was, that, five penises. I find this to be amazing. I do too. <laughs> so he basically was like, penises will not be tolerated. <laughs> <laughs> and they got fucking demoted after he complained about a penis <laughs> and a vagina <laughs> shit pasta. He deserved what he got. Exactly. <laughs> what Learn how to laugh. Learn how to laugh. Exactly. Oh my God. That man has not been laid since the Reagan administration. You know what? I have to say, if nothing else I've learned in life, is you fucking people, (laughs) you all take yourself too goddamn seriously. Oh, man, he deserves everything he got. And when people sense that, they just pour it on. Oh, exactly. It's like they send you a little little dick. (laughs) To and a little at, vagina and with a your little name vagina, on it. And you can't take it. The next thing you know, you have this big black fucking dong hanging over your face and you're fired. Take it, Frank. Take it. And you're known as the asshole <laughs> who couldn't handle a vagina pasta. Oh, man. How do you get a job after that? Frank. 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 Imagine the guy writing Frank on the vagina pasta. This is for you, like, Frank. This one's for for you. you. It's a with lot this, of skill to with keep your penalty. Tiny little meat. Sharpie, exactly. Uh, Frank. His wife, like, I can't believe you. So fucking immature. <laughs> and he sticks it in his office envelope. I like how his wife has a Long Island accent, He's by so the way. So fucking immature. <laughs> I can't believe you're writing that on a piece of pasta. What's the matter with you? What about Frank's wife? Lighten up, Frank. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> it's just a little vagina. It's a fucking. It's a fucking dick, Frank. Maybe if it came near my vagina, this wouldn't bother you so much, Frank. Yeah, you're not scared of penis, you're scared of vagina. Why don't we just boil it and stick some marinara on it? Call maybe, it a day. Maybe Frank, we'll a- a- but this says so much. This we says so a, much. We could have had it for Sunday dinner, but now. You know, Oprah says, if you're afraid of the vagina. <laughs> I don't even know where to go Now you're there. fucking demoted. <laughs> Good now job, asshole. Demoted. Way to go, Frank. You should have got an asshole sheet. What pasta. am I going to tell my ma? <laughs> Thought we were gonna move to Florida next year, man. We gotta fucking be here another five fucking years. Fucking asshole. Afraid of the you are a penis, Frank. <laughs> I'm past him now. Take a joke. 
<laughs> and that's why men, this is sad though, that's why men don't file sexual harassment charges. <laughs> because that shit happens. They get articles. Really, that's on, sad. On that's calls. sad news, really. That's sad why men don't file. Men are lucky to get sexually harassed. <laughs> right. Appreciate it. Exactly. <laughs> men love sexual harassment. They call it flirting. I just can't <laughs> believe. I don't know that I can move on from this. <laughs> Because all I picture is him opening it in the office envelope. <laughs> Thinking it's like a memo. And, and enraged. <laughs> they wrote my name on a vagina shaped piece of pasta. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to my superiors. <laughs> my superiors. Sergeant, I'd like to show you what was on my desk. And how big could it be? <laughs> it was probably by Chris. Like, one of the, you know, you know like those little penises that you could buy? He had to boil it just so we had to put, like, appropriate piece of yeah, evidence. It's, like, smaller it. than, like, a fucking... It's not the size of even a Z. <laughs> those things say. are half How did he know it was a vagina? How did he know it wasn't just, like, a regular... <laughs> what kind of noodle was it? <laughs> it was a shell. It was, it was, like, it was a shell. It, it was had a to be a shell. It's just a shell. It, it had a to be a shell. Like Frank, that's not a fucking it's vagina. A fucking it's just show. a fucking macaroni you really shell. Are sick. It's just a fucking macaroni <laughs> shell, Frank. Shut the fuck up. Your fucking just grandchild fucking, made a fucking crash with fucking first grade. Eat. It's macaroni and cheese, Frank. Stop being a fucking pussy. <laughs> Do you think that looked like a fucking vagina too? Your vagina's a cheese. There were fucking three hundred and fifty of them in the bowl, Frank. It's just fucking macaroni and cheese. You're and a little fucking Velveeta. pervert. It's just fucking Velveeta, Frank. It's some fucking noodles. Eat you it. You haven't gotten up in twenty years. Stop being a fucking baby, Frank. A <laughs> limp dick prick. It was a shell. I'm so fucking sick of your shit, Frank. It's fucking Velveetas and cheese shells. Fucking eaters, not vaginas. Stop being a fucking baby. <laughs> I found, this, pasta. I found a picture of a vagina. Oh, God. It, it doesn't even look like a vagina. <laughs> it looks like brass knuckles. <laughs> it looks like a pear. It looks like a six-part pear. Do you realize the tip they had to use to write his name? It definitely was a fine tip marker. Oh, my God. I wonder if it was like calligraphy. <laughs> It was like when they write your name on a grain of rice at the fair and they put it on a necklace. He used a jeweler's eye. Yeah. Jeweler's loop. I can't handle this. Elizabeth, you sent me the greatest story I've ever read. Such a fucking pussy, Frank. It's fucking food. It's a shell. We didn't have to go shopping this week if you would have just kept it. You think fucking people in China? You think fucking people in China are fucking complaining (laughs) when their fucking food looks like vaginas? No, they eat it. And it even says there was two small pieces of pasta (laughs) shaped. Eat the fucking thing, Frank. First vagina you ate in fucking two years. (laughs) Could have been. Could have been, Frank. Could have been if you weren't such a fucking pussy, Frank. Now you're fucking demoted with no pussy. (laughs) Nothing to eat. Starving. (laughs) Fuck you, Frank. I'm out of here. Does my vagina look like that, Frank? I don't think so. You're saying my fucking vagina looks like pasta, Frank? (laughs) Boil this. Boil this, Frank. Boil this, you motherfucker. (laughs) I'm out of here. I'm fucking out of here. You can go back and live with your mother, you motherfucker. I can't breathe. Go fuck your pasta, motherfucker. I'm out. I think it's scarred. It must have scarred Frank Fly. I'll show you soft. He could not go to family dinners anymore. <laughs> he couldn't look at vaginas. He's done. The wo- Frank's fucked. <laughs> He's fucked. <laughs> Couldn't he boss anymore? The words oh, Al Dente had a whole different meaning. <laughs> Poor bastard. <laughs> Oh God! Oh, I can't. oh my son! <laughs> Guess we're not going to Olive Garden now, Frank. <laughs> Fuck you and your fucking sensitive feelings, Frank. <laughs> Got your fucking Ronzoni right here, Frank. <laughs> Frank, <laughs> the best epiphany of this conversation was it wasn't a vagina; it was a shell. <laughs> it was a shell. <laughs> Elvita shell. Fucking pussy. Fuck my shell, Frank. Did you ever hear a clam, Frank? <laughs> oh, God. Pasta with clam sauce. 
Jesus. What sent him over the edge? How am I supposed to fucking pay the bills, Frank? <laughs> you lost your job over a, a vagina pasta. I'm supposed to tell them that we can't fucking pay the bills because you got fucking scared by a fucking shell pussy? <laughs> Fuck you, Frank. Ah. We're poor, Frank. <laughs> You understand me? We're fucking broke. We're fucking broke because you and your fucking pussy plaster version. Fuck you. Those fucking firemen My had to go online and order a bag of pasta penis and vagina. <laughs> Sit down. Your penis doodles. And, just, and inscribe it perfectly. They couldn't do it. They didn't even do it on the penis. Do you know how significant that is? They put his name on the vagina. <laughs> That says it all. <laughs> oh, God. Who do we thank for sending the news story? Elizabeth. Thank you, Elizabeth. She gets amazing listener of the year for that one. <laughs> thank you, Elizabeth. Frank. <laughs> that thank. Was amazing. Elizabeth, if you send us your email, your address, we'll send you a, a, a gift for that. I'm not kidding. 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 Oh, that, that, that was good. incredible. Oh, not pasta. Not, not pasta, pasta, Elizabeth. Not pasta with your name on it. A vagina with Elizabeth right now. <laughs> no, we'll send you something. We'll all autograph some penis shaped pasta for you. <laughs> Fuck you, Frank. <laughs> we'll write Frank on everything. Frank! Frank! <laughs> Good job, Frank. <laughs> no Christmas for your grandchildren this year, Frank. I love that all he saw were penises. He walked into the gym. Penis <laughs> everywhere, Frank. <laughs> That's not a penis. It's your grandson, you asshole. <laughs> That's Johnny. Say hello, you fucking asshole. <laughs> Going to tell everybody why you got kicked out of the army now, Frank? <laughs> tell him what you did, Frank. You see penises <laughs> everywhere. Gonna go do this shit again, Frank. Oh, oh. Okay. All right, regroup. <laughs> I, I, don't know that, I told you, I don't know that I get past this. This story is amazing. Thank you, Elizabeth. <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay. There's an article that I found <laughs> about a Brazilian sex doll. Apparently, the article says, would you spend more than $100,000 on a one-night stand? Did we mention it that, that it's with a sex doll? So, an online sex shop called Sexonica <laughs> has started a bidding war for the virginity of Valentina, Brazil's first lifelike sex doll. So far, the bids for the fake lady's flower have surpassed 105000 <laughs> Dollars. What? Yes. Who's more insane, these Brazilian guys or Frank? Frank! <laughs> Frank! Are you ready? When the auction ends, they will win a full romantic package, which includes a night in the presidential suite of Motel Swing in Sao, Sao Paulo, sorry, a special candlelight dinner with French champagne, an aromatic bath with rose petals, round-trip flights, special lingerie for the doll, and a digital camera so you can film and after show it to your friends. Really? Would you really want to show your friends? What? That's really... Stupid. Interesting. <laughs> can we can we rewind to the aromatic bath with the rose petals <laughs> that only women typically care about? Like, do you think the doll really gives a fuck? Does the doll take on water? <laughs> <laughs> does, she, does she care? Does she need to unwind uh, from her hard is she day? Is she buoyant? She'll be like... <laughs> I imagine she floats now. <laughs> yeah, how do you keep her under there? You, you can have her suck your cock, I guess. Wow. Like, lodge her onto your cock. I really thought Brazilians were more advanced than that. It says that she has green eyes, fleshy lips, full breasts, and a body that inspires envy in all women. I'm, je all I'm women. jealous. I'm definitely jealous. That's all this bitch. Frank's wife is jealous. Frank! <laughs> Put that fucking doll away, Frank! <laughs> Frank, you better, not be, you, Frank. you better not be the aromatic bath with her, Frank. <laughs> is that fucking thing floating, Frank? <laughs> Fuck you. Why don't you boil the doll, Frank? Is she wearing the special lingerie? <laughs> Does she look like pasta penis, Frank? <laughs> Fuck that point, bitch, Frank. <laughs> you can't eat her. <laughs> Is your name written on her, Frank? <laughs> oh, God. I'll never get over it. 
This is a monumental point in my life. In addition this to is the most, mo- everything get in from, touch with Frank. Everything from now on was pre Frank and post Frank. <laughs> you gotta get in PF touch with Frank. and PF. Pasta Frank. <laughs> PPF. Post Pasta Frank. <laughs> Fuck you, Frank. <laughs> Why, Frank? Why? Why, Why, Frank? I can't even go on. (laughs) Because nothing I read is going to top that shit. (laughs) Can we get Frank on the show? I I don't think he'll find it funny. He'll be like, fuck you guys. (laughs) Frank's wife needs to come on. Frank is very sensitive. Very sensitive. We need to get on that and do some research on, (laughs) we have his name. We have where he is. We have to find out where he lives and if he has a wife. We need to get her on the phone. <laughs> Frank's wife. Let me tell you. Let me tell you all about it. Those pasta vaginas ruined my life. I'm not allowed to cook Italian food in this house ever again. It's the worst starch I've ever come across. No more fucking starches, Frank. <laughs> what am I supposed to tell my mother? I tried pierogies. Oh, dog. No. You're on that fucking Atkins, Frank, and that's it. Sorry, everybody. There'll be no pasta for Easter this year. Frank can't handle it. <laughs> Frank Fucking seeing pussies day. everywhere. My ma, she loves lasagna. Oh, forget it. Forget God, it. Help me. You know who could probably relate to this would be the John Because <laughs> he fucks pasta. I know. He likes some noodles. So we should really ask him when he's back on what he thinks of Frank. Because <laughs> it's the opposite. Like... Yo, he yo. loves noodles. And Frank is scared of noodles. It's like they are on opposite ends. The John would have loved it. He would have yeah, thanked John that. He would have fucked the, the pasta pussy. The pasta. Give me that pasta pussy. This, puss, this, this pasta in the shape of pussy? Where was that when I was 14? <laughs> <laughs> right? What the fuck is wrong with you, Frank? <laughs> I'm going to fuck that shit. Fuck the shit out of that shit. <laughs> I would have fucked it. Put my dick in that fucking shit, Frank. What the fuck is wrong with you? Is it semolina pasta? <laughs> semolina. That shit is fucking al dente, bro. That shit is so fucking al dente. It made me come. You put some butter sauce on there. It's perfection. Oh, fuck. I'll put some nut all over that put shit, Put some Frank. gravy on there. Oh, fuck. I'll put my oh, gravy on that right now. Gravy. I'll fucking put my gravy oh, on that right now. I'll give you some Alfredo sauce <laughs> for that vagina. <laughs> There he is. Uh, Fucking the pasta. Uh, <laughs> that shit is al dente, son. Oh my god. Okay, guys, I don't know how this is going to translate because we're basically obsessed with Frank right now. Shit's gone off the fucking track right now. <laughs> but, Elizabeth, listener of the year. Thank you so much. <laughs> You've changed my life. Good lord! And um, I think that's a show. And we're gonna see you next Tuesday. <laughs> Frank. 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 Frank the pasta. Frank. You fucking pussy, Frank. <laughs>